uh, all right, let's say you got you got an Arduino project and you need two serial connections to a computer, right? Uh, you know, uh, in my case, uh, I'm working with the uh, Kerbal Space Program serial I/O thing, so you know, I need I need a serial connection between the Arduino and Kerbal Space Program, which is not running. This computer's off. Um, but I also want a serial connection for debugging, right? And and, I, and, I, and you know the way computers handle serial ports, you can only have one program interacting with them at once. So I can't like mix it in, you know. And besides, that would be kind of weird. Um, but the cool thing about this Arduino is it's it's a uh, it's a Mega Twenty Five. Oh, hi, Kitty Cat. Uh, it's a Mega, uh, and it has it has the normal uh, zero and one pins for TX and RX. Um, but it also has three extra hardware serials. I don't know. You can't see that. Oh, uh, wait, wait. It has three more hardware serial ports. Um, and, and, and so those are really useful. Uh, and, and they're, they're just as easy to use as, as the USB serial. But you can only access one of them over USB. Still just the, still just the TX and RX one. Uh, 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 zero. I mean zero. Um. Uh, so, so, you know, how would you do this? Well, uh, it's, 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 uh, fairly, fairly simple. Okay, if, if we, uh, here, if we just, if I, if, there, okay. So you can see things turning on. Uh, uh, okay, not much more. So, how... How do we do this? How do we access uh, another stereo port? Well, it's really simple. You just use another Arduino, okay? And you plug you you, you plug it in with one hand, which is really difficult to do using your launch pad, uh, launch control that you're not using those cords. Um, uh, all right, now you have two of them, right? And now this Arduino right here is just running. The blink sketch, right? So you can see that just blank, um, and it doesn't really matter what this is doing as long as it's not using the serial port. Because if you'll notice, those TX and RX pins, those aren't really like there's not any processing going on there. It's just straight up a connection to uh, the USB serial port and the serial port inside. So what you can do is it's really really simple. If you just, you take, you take, uh, you take TX1 of your manga, and you attach it not to RX, but to TX. Alright, and now what you'll notice is that as soon as I did that, the TX started freaking out. Because this, this mega is actually trying to send that data right now. And we attach the RX1. To the RX, and there you go. Uh, now it's not receiving anything at the moment because you know, and, and this Arduino doesn't care what's going on. It's still just running the blink sketch. All right, uh, this Ard and 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 you know, it's not gonna it's not gonna like mess anything up if we try to like reprogram this Arduino. It's not gonna reprogram this one because the programming happens on uh, this, the zero zero port. So, so all this is doing is just bridging between TX and TX, RX and RX. Uh, and so basically, it, you know, we can totally ignore that this Arduino is here. We could take this chip out for, for all we care. Uh, and now this, this, we're now using this USB to serial converter to connect to TX and RX1 of the Mega. And now you have two uh, debugging, debugging, uh, you have two serial ports connected to the computer. Uh, for no extra money if you already have two Arduinos. So, um, yeah. Uh, cool, cool beans.